Hey guys, it's April with Crafting with April. Um, quite a few of you have asked about sizing envelopes and cards this week, so I thought I would do a video for you guys, and if you had questions, you could ask them on Wednesday's Live. We normally go live on Mondays, but today is a holiday, so I wanted to pre-record some things uh, for you guys so you would have something that you could watch and play back uh, without all a ton of questions being asked in the middle. Uh, I apologize that I haven't had more live videos the last couple of months than um, I've had. I had planned them, but uh, sickness in the family and a death in the family um, made life happen around here and slowed things down for us, but we're getting back on track. Um, there will not be a live. This is Monday, Memorial Day. Uh, I want you to enjoy it with your family and friends. Um, that's very important. And because this is a holiday, we will do a live on Wednesday, and then I will do my Patreons video on Saturday for their uh, monthly video, and then we will be back on track for Monday week. So just bear with us while we get everything back on track. So let's get into it. Um, let's start with card bases. To make a card base, it doesn't matter what size you want. Um, you can do anything that you want from A2 sizes to 5 by 7s It's all going to work the same way. Um, I've done this one before with a few of you, and so I decided that I would go into a little bit more detail. To make a 5 by 7 card, of course we need a shape. Uh, for this card, we're going to do square. And if you want it 5 by 7 you're going to unlock here at the top. And you're going to put in 5 for your width and your height 7. And then you're going to lock it back and you should have a 5 by 7. But when we fold it, it's not going to be 5 by 7. So how do we fix that? Well, when we fold it, we need it to be twice as wide. So we're going to double that width number to five uh, to ten by seven. Okay. So now we have a sheet of paper that is ten by seven after it's cut. When we insert a score line, we're going back to shape and get that score line. It comes in at the same thing, three point one one one. That's the default. We're just going to change it to seven because we know that our card is seven inches long. Okay? And now we have that score line that's seven inches. Let me change this to a light color so it may be easier for you guys to see. Now you can see that score line. So when we place that in the middle of that 10 by 7 paper, I'm going to align it and center it. Make sure it's dead center and attach. Now this is going to cut out of my this will cut out of a 8.5 by 11 or a 12 by 12 piece of paper. Doesn't matter. Um, it's going to cut. It's going to cut at 10 by 7. It's going to score it down the middle. When you fold it in half, your card is now a 5 by 7 card. Okay. This is a what I call a book open. What if you want it uh, to open from the bottom up? All you've got to do when you you can cut this card out of any cardstock, white base cardstock, you can rotate it 90 degrees right here if it helps you if you want to design with this. And now you have it opening the other direction. So that's all there is to it. You can rotate it on here so you can work out your design if you want to and things like that. Or you can rotate it after it's cut. So, But that's all you're doing is rotating that. What I would do for some of you, especially those that are new and learning, is I would do a save and I would name this my five by oops five by seven base. And then hit save. And now whenever you go to your projects. You've got that base. You're going to make a 5 by 7 card. You're going to customize. I'm going to replace what I have on my screen. It's just going to bring it back up. 
So I want to customize this. So when I do this, I'm going to do a save as, and this is going to be my uh, aunt's birthday. And I'm going to save it. So now I can work on this and make changes to it and change it and do anything I want to do to this card, and it's not going to affect my base. Um, if I go to my projects, now you can see, not only do I have my 5x7 base that I can start any card off of, but I also have my aunt's birthday card, and I'm not going to mess up my base. And you can do that for each size card you have. Let's take it a step further. Let's open up this base and customize it. Let's go in and let's add an envelope. And you can do an A2 size card as well. Your A2 size cards are 4.25 by 5.5, which is four and a quarter inches by five and a half inches. You're going to make your base just like we did the five by seven, but you're going to make it um, five and a half inches tall. And because it's 4.25 wide, we're going to double that and we're going to make it eight and a half wide. Now, when you do that, um, you'll have to rotate it on your mat. Depends on how it sends it to the mat, and I'll show that to you over there. Uh, you may have to rotate it if you're using 8.5 by 11 paper because it may tell you that you can't, but you can. You can get that out of either sheet of paper, too. Envelopes. Let's just go ahead and go and filter and get a free one. And this looks like a good one here. We're just going to select this free envelope, and we're going to insert it. So when I save this, I'm going to have my envelope and my card ready to go, ready to customize every time I open up my 5x7 base. So let's see. Wait a minute. That doesn't fit. How am I going to get that card in that envelope? We need to size it as well. So if you're using a different envelope, you're going to have to size it. So what we need is a shape, and we know that our card is a 5 by 7, okay? So we're just going to use a sizing square, and we're going to make it 5 inches wide, 7 inches high, and we're going to lock that back. I need this to fit in that envelope, so I'm just going to start stretching that. Don't unlock it. Leave it locked. And you're just going to keep sizing until you can get that square inside those score lines. That's your goal. Okay, and look, it doesn't fit. By the time I get it to fit in the length, because I want to have a little bit of play, so it's easy to get the envelope in and out. I want to have a, just a little bit just below the score lines, but look how wide it is. That's too wide. This is where you unlock. And then you're just going to pull in on one side. You may have to pull it back out and adjust it, keeping your square inside those scores. And then you lock it back. Now we have an envelope. Let's make it a pretty color. I don't like that olive green. So now we have a card and an envelope. I'm going to save this. So now every time I open this to make a card, I have a card and an envelope that is five by seven, just like it states here, five by seven on the base. Card and envelope. So I'm ready to go. I can make any card. If I'm going to, if I'm going to make one right now for my uncle, Save as, and I'm going to change that to my uncle's birthday card. And I save it. And now when I go to my projects, you will see, I'm just going to get rid of this because I don't really need that. That's my aunt's. Here's my 5x7 base with an envelope. Here's my uncle's birthday card. I can make changes to this and never mess up my base. Okay? So, that's where this comes in handy. 
Now showing you again on a let's double check the size and I am this envelope does stay within the 11 and a half by 11 and a half. You have to watch that. You may have to choose different envelopes. You may have to position them differently on paper. Sometimes we have to trick the Cricut uh, to make it think we're using a different size paper than we're using. But that will come later once you've learned how to do your bases. Um, so try to stick with stuff right now that you know will work that you don't have to modify. All you have to do is check your sizing. I'm just going to hide these and we're going to do an A2. So now I want a shape. Going to get a square and we know that an A2 is 4.25 inches wide and 5.5 inches high. There's the size, there's my sizing square. So I'm going to duplicate that and I'm going to double the size on the width only. So I need to unlock it and I'm going to make that 8.50. And I'm going to lock it back. I'm going to get a score line. Let's change this to white so you guys can see. And I am going to make that score line 4.25. No, I'm sorry. 5.5 because that's the height of my card and then I'm just going to select those two align and center and attach and now this is an A2 card so now I can save this I can do a save as an A2 base and save it. And yes, it's going to have that 5 by 7 in there, but I'm going to fix that. That way I don't lose my 5 by 7 I don't lose my uncle's card. And I am going to unhide that envelope. I'm going to unhide that 5 by 7 card, and I'm just going to delete it. So now I have a clean file. I just need to size up my envelope. So I'm going to put my sizing square there and size that envelope to fit. And here we are. Remember on the other one it wouldn't, this one it was too wide, this one is too long so we're going to unlock it and bring that back. You want it slightly bigger than your square so your, um, your card goes in and out. Now I can get rid of that and I am going to hit save. And now I have an A2 base as well. If I want to send this to the mat, I'm going to hit make it, but I want to use 8.5 by 11 paper. It's not there because this card is 8.5 wide. It's not going to give me that. How do I fix that? Let's rotate this 90 degrees. And this usually works, so I'm hoping that it'll work again this time. And I am going to save. And let's hit make it. And it spun it on me again. So let's just turn it this way. Let's go ahead and turn it. Say I'm using 11, 8 and a half by 11 inch paper. I can select that 9 by 12. It's still going to let me do it. But instead of putting my paper on long ways, I'm going to put my short side here and my long side here, so my 11 inch paper, 8.5 by 11, and it will cut this base out. Sometimes, if I had, I don't know if I group, if it will change it. Sometimes it will. Uh, usually I've got something attached to it, so it will let me spin it around and attach it, and it will cut it that way. Um, but it's, I bought my keyboard. It's going to give me the option to group here. I may have lost my internet. Uh, there we go. Okay. Make it, will it go that way? No, it still doesn't want to. 
But like I said, you can you can trick it and it'll flip it there. But you can get this out, it's say a 9 by 12. If you just turn it and put your paper on one way, or myself, I don't even bother turning it. I just put my 8.5 by 11 paper on long ways at the top, and I cut it out of that. So you can do an A2 that way. So I hope that answered. I forgot who asked me that question. It was on Messenger, but that's how you do that. Just trick your Cricut. Turn your paper on the mat. The Cricut's not going to know you turned the paper. It's still going to cut where it thinks it's going to cut here. So that's how you do your sizing for your envelopes. That's how you size your cards. Um, like I said, as long as you stay in that 11 and a half by 11 and a half uh, design area, then you're going to be able to cut your basis out of 12 by 12. And again, you can flip these cards when you're doing them on this mat for design purposes either way you need. If you want a book open, this is what I call a book open where it opens like a book or if you want to open it like a steno pad which opens from the end up. All you're doing is changing it. It's the same base. Nothing has changed. All you did was turn it one turn. That's it. So I hope that this helped you guys out that we're having trouble on sizing cards and envelopes and um, if you have any questions, get them ready. Come to the live on Wednesday at 7 o'clock and ask your questions and we'll cover anything that you didn't catch on the playback or you didn't understand. And you guys have a wonderful day. Give me a thumbs up on the video. Subscribe to the YouTube channel. Come over to the groups Cards and Cuddlebugs, um, Crafting with April, I'm sorry, Cricut Crafting with April, or Cricut Maker Projects. Um, join any one of the groups and um, come in, ask your questions. We'll be happy to help you out. You guys have a wonderful night and thanks for joining me.